us what's new about this very old thing. <laughs> <laughs> after this grueling week. <laughs> but indeed, it's a great pleasure and honor for me to be here tonight in this very special place. Constance is very dear to my heart. Uh, I had my first uh, sabbatical ever in the University of Constance back in 1973, when it was just a very new uh, institution. And I'm still remembering, of course, uh, many of the things around them. I know how to see the Alps and uh, visit Stein and Rhein and Rheinfels and everything else around. Them. So <clears throat> I'm not going to waste time. I want to get you out of here at a reasonable time so we can go and celebrate the end of the symposium. <clears throat> um, Albert Beinert already the other night uh, introduced you to quite a lot of the history of all the other enzymes, so I'm going to uh, make it fairly short. Uh, I think I'll skip the first um, <coughs> uh, three uh, periods, the early periods, because I was uh, dealt with those, and <coughs> come uh, skip a whole 30 years when very little was done on the Amazon until Rowena Matthews, who is here tonight, and who was my first graduate student, for you believe, in, in Ann Arbor, um, <coughs> Uh, isolated OGO enzyme by a new procedure and discovered uh, that it was in fact an old green enzyme, which was very appropriate as we call it as data green. Uh, <coughs> and after uh, quite a lot of effort, discovered that the greening factor was parahydroxylenzaldehyde. So we were very excited at that time. We thought, okay, uh, this enzyme forms beautiful charge transfer complexes. And um, that was disputed later by Franz Müller. Anyway, um, we thought having identified parahydroxybenzaldehyde as a um, as a binding unit to this protein, we should very simply be able to determine its physiological function. Mistake number one. Uh, so here we are still a whole 30 years later, and we still don't know what the physiological function of all is. But <clears throat> a few years later, another graduate student, Aaron Bramovitz, uh, introduced a very beautiful method for purification of the enzyme, an affinity column based on PLA binding. The thing which Rowena had recognized was that a whole series of phenolic compounds would bind to old yellow enzyme and cause this uh, green. And Aaron Abramovitz carried that through by <coughs> making a phenolic binding column, which permitted us to take the crude extract of yeast, pass it through, we might find a different thing. So, <laughs> so, so I think I'm absolutely on the <laughs> stop, but wait a moment, before I stop, I want to give you a list of people who <coughs> contributed to this over the years, and this is over many years. <coughs> I've already mentioned several of these people, Marina and Aaron Bramovic, uh, <coughs> Rick Stewart, who did uh, some of the early work on Redox and potential determinations. Larry Schopfer, who was with me for many years. Dick Dunham, who <coughs> collaborated with me in Japan to disprove uh, Franz Müller's uh, outrageous ideas about the charge transfer complexes. Alexander Lockridge, and Tucker has signed him, and Luco Di Eno, who did the uh, cloning. Kelvin Stott, who discovered this bright young Englishman, came over from uh, Bob Ray from a unit in the Sussex community uh, a year abroad. And he discovered the reaction in South Hexagon. Schumacher has worked with him for many years, so he has all sorts of places. Alvin Buzz, who <coughs> um, is 
Brazil is a serious specificity in the actions. Betty Joe, I've already mentioned, who has not only done the site direct review to Genesis, but also has done, done a double, uh, and done knockout mutants of the enzyme uh, in yeast, and including a double uh, knockout. And we haven't so far succeeded in finding anything out about the physiological front. <laughs> <laughs> and Chris Fox, uh, who did the, the, was the uh, <coughs> crystal structure, and I forgot to mention as I went along, that <coughs> the Andy uh, has also been checking the mutant forms of the enzyme which we've produced, and so far hasn't found any significant uh, difference in the uh, crystal structures. And also, I have done some of this work. <laughs>